What up, folks? It's your man, Jay. Whew. The weather is nice, man. The weather is nice. Um, but, you know, I haven't really been doing anything. It, it just recently got nice. It's supposed to have a storm tonight, so it's going to be like 99% chance of rain. Uh, but I was cleaning. I was uh, warming up the 300, and I said I'm going to warm up the, uh, the charger. Uh, and um, I thought, why not shoot a quick vlog? chat with everybody let everybody know what's going down cars running good i'm up to like 17 almost 1800 miles on the charger so i've been driving i drove it out of town uh for a little bit and it, obviously it's riding good i'm considering when i should go ahead and do my first oil change because um the 300 doesn't need an oil change probably until about 10,000 miles that that car strictly does highway and uh you know some around town uh, but you know getting your first oil change a lot of people would tell you you need to do it within 500 to 1500 miles Well, I would think with these newer vehicles you don't need to do that You know, which is why a lot of uh, companies OEMs are saying maintenance free You know, we'll, we'll take care of it for you. They're not really doing anything the cars themselves Don't require oil changes as fast and that's what they don't tell you but you know You can change it every 3,000 but that's kind of the older cars that you needed to do that Full synthetic oil should should do a lot better for your car, folks. So I plan on changing this one at about 5,000 miles. I'm not sure, but I'm sure I won't need uh, an oil change by then. I'm sure I won't. Uh, it, it'll probably still be because, because of the fact of how I drive this car. Um, I'm sure that I, I just won't need an oil change. I'm going to look down here and see where my oil life is at. Let's see here. oil life is at 71 let me show you here oil life is 71 oil life is at 71 percent and you know you know i got what almost 1800 miles on the car so i don't think that um, I'll need an oil change for quite some time and um, But I when did you get your first oil change on your scat pack or your charger or whatever? Um, Shout out to one shorty she has a FA she has a not a figure she has a um uh, A lime green she calls it slime pack. I think it is 392. She's on she's on YouTube. She's 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 fine She bought a 19 like this also so it's that it's that green color uh, but um, she did hers. I forgot how many miles she had on yours. I watched her, her video. I watched her video, but I think it was like 5,000. I'm not sure. But the mileage really doesn't. It's about monitoring the, the oil uh, in the car. And you can physically get out and look to see if it's turning black too soon. Or, you know, just check your main, monitor your oil. Uh, and I have a catch can also. So that's something that you need to do. You don't just go by what it says on the dash. Uh, but in most situations with these newer cars, they're pretty accurate. I mean, I haven't. I checked my oil on the 300 and it's still good. I got like 44% or 45% left and I have 5,300 miles on that car and no oil change yet. And I, and I probably won't need it until about 10 grand. So, uh, and that's when I'm going to get an oil change because especially if it's just driven on the highway a lot. Uh, but um, uh, I think getting an oil change on a car, maintain it. Some people feel like with these performance cars, if you run them hard, then yeah, you're going to need an oil change a lot sooner. But I don't run this car very hard at all. I get on it every now and again, but you know, I don't run it very hard at all. So that's something that you need to, to be aware of. But if you're taking your car to the track and things like that, you're definitely going to need an oil change a lot faster than, than normal. But if you're just daily driving your car or cruising re every weekend, like this car is driven every Friday and Saturday and sometimes Sunday uh, when it's not raining. So it's not, it doesn't get, it doesn't, it gets driven about maybe three to 10 times a month, possibly. Somewhere in between there, uh, somewhere. Sometimes during the week, I'll pull it out and drive it. Uh, but overall, you should really check your, physically go check your oil. And if you're one of those people who changes your own oil, well, you can do whatever you wanna do with it. So uh, I personally, I actually now have gotten more comfortable relying on what the vehicle says when it needs an oil change. Uh, I was talking to one of the managers at Dodge, and he said, man, these newer cars are so good, you can run them down to 1%, and you should still be okay. As long as the oil isn't black, and you're not, like, hot-riding it or anything like that. And uh, he drives an SRT8 300. 
uh, I think he has, no, he has an SR, I think he has a scat pack now, but he has, he has an SRT 800 too. And he said, man, I run mine down to like one, 2%, somewhere around there, you know, whatever the computer says. And then I change it in, in most cases, it's still pretty decent. So, um, you know, I feel like why not, you know what I mean? Like why not trust the, this computer system that's in these vehicles, uh, somewhat because of where, where tech is today, you should be able to rely somewhat on what the vehicle is saying. Cause it's got diagnostics on there too. And um, if you have a Mopar, you, I'm pretty sure you signed up for Uconnect uh, to get the emails and it tells you, it sends diagnostics to my email uh, weekly report. Or you could do however you want to do it, but you know, just maintaining the, the, the maintenance on the car will make your car last for a long time. There's cars out there with a million miles on them, literally. Go look it up for yourself. 400,000 miles, 500,000 miles. That doesn't mean that they didn't have to do other maintenance, but oil change is the bloodline. It's the heartbeat of, you know, if you run out of oil, the engine locks up. You have an oil leak, no engine in the oil, it's going to mess up. So maintain your oil and make sure it's it's clean and, and keep a solid oil change. Make sure your filters is good. And you should be able to drive these cars to the ground. I only know of one person that has 100,000 miles on a scat pack and they bought it. It's the same. They bought it in 2015, I believe. Uh, but. You know they went through you know a couple of filters and tires and stuff like that but it depends on how you drive so especially tires man if you if you hot rod in your car then you're gonna burn through tires a lot faster but most tires all season tires should last you about you know 30,000 25 to 50,000 miles at least and then depending on which tires you replace them with you know that should be your tires man you if you're not dogging out like the 300 is never there's no burnouts or anything like that those tires look brand new and i drive that car uh, i mean i drive that car a lot that, that's the daily driver so uh, even on the charger the charger is two years old uh and let me show you the charger tires Still a lot of life in that tire and this tire is like brand new and obviously these tires right here will look they'll look brand new so it's all about how you maintain your vehicles so me maintenance I don't know, man. I, I take good care of these cars. Oil changes when I need them. Balancing rotations when I need them. And that's what it is. So anyway, it's your man Jay. About to get out of here. Cars are warm. And it's a little warm outside. Not too bad. We're not even in the summertime yet. It gets kind of warm out here. It's about 75 right now. But it's humid. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Yes. This is... So nice.